Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and I want to show you my favorite way for hanging pictures with this bracket system. Check the video description. I'll put a link where you can pick one of these up. And so it's really nice because there's two brackets. One goes on the painting itself, and the other goes on the wall. And so then they just hitch into each other, and uh, the one that goes against the wall... They even give you a little level that uh, pops into place. And so that's really nice for you to get it level and then drill it into studs, especially if you get this kit that has the, the wider, bigger kit, you'll hit two studs. So it's very firm. And then, uh, yeah, once it's in the wall, uh, as you're screwing it in, you can make sure that it's level. And then the other one will just hitch right in the top. So I'll show you how this goes together. And it's nice because it doesn't have to line up perfectly so you can move your painting back and forth. So this is what it looks like when they're both together. As you can see, the uh, top one just hitches right into the bottom one. And so um, we'll go ahead and show you how to install this. What you'll want to do is find how high up you want it on the wall. So this is uh, a good time to bring in a stud finder to make sure that you hit a stud. If not, at the end of the video, I'll put uh, how to use a, draw, a drywall expander. Uh, but uh, anyway, what you want to keep in mind is the bracket on the top will be the painting. So that's where you want it to be. So when you do mount the bottom bracket, you want to make sure that uh, it's going to be a little bit lower uh, than where you want the painting to end up. And so it's nice again, so it'll slide back and forth as you uh, hitch it together. So basically this is where we wanted ours. I wanted the painting to be at like 42 inches. So we went down to about 41 inches and that was our height. And we found a stud on each of these. And now when I brought in the bracket, what was really nice is as you can see, one hole lines up right where there's a stud here. And just because of the size of this bracket was perfect, the other one lines up right there. So all we have to do now is put our screws in and then make sure that it's level with the built-in leveling system. So the way I like to do this is I like to put a screw in on one side so that it's firm and into the stud, but don't tighten it down all the way. And with it still loose, now we can swing up the other end and get this perfectly level right where we want it to be. So as you can see, we've just put screws in on each side here and it's nice and level there in the center. And so this is the wall mounted bracket side. And so now what we'll do is move to the painting and this is what it should look like going on. So you have the flat end on the top of the painting trim and uh, that's what the bracket should look like with that little Y in there. So we just simply mounted this on top of the top of the frame and you want to make sure the screws will not go all the way out of the picture frame so make sure that they're deep enough or you'll want to get smaller uh, screws and so now as you can see we just hook one side into the other and so what's really nice is we could slide this back and forth left to right until we got it exactly centered it doesn't have to be centered on the studs now it just uh, the bracket is what it's centered on so anyway uh, i'll put a quick video here in the back if you cannot hit a stud and it needs to go into drywall you want to use one of these expanders so you just drill a hole and then you put it in here and just push into it until it seats. You could use a hammer too if you're very gentle until it seats into the drywall. Next, as you bring in the screw, it will start to spread this out. So they have different uh, forms of these. There's all different kinds of, that spread out differently in, in crunch. But uh, basically, all you have to do is uh, screw that screw in there and it will expand and uh, collapse and that way it's a little bit stronger for the drywall itself and then with that you could hang a picture up uh, directly onto it if you needed to but uh, the best way of course is to hit a actual stud so anyway thanks for watching and uh, please check the video description for playlists of other videos like this that i've done and if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe thanks guys